as I'm talking to you. Can you That's hear me? Cool. Yeah, I can hear you. I, uh, I'm trying to watch your live, so I'm going to stand here long. I just wanted to clarify. I'm willing to put in the work that it takes to make it in the rap industry. What I'm trying to say is it seems like anybody who has even made something for themselves don't acknowledge people who are on the bottom. Like uh. Tom McDonald could easily, you know, open a record label and like mm. help people out by what I'm saying is I don't think rappers acknowledge that other people have skill, but maybe don't know how to take it to the next level. Um, they leave it to, they leave you up to figuring it out yourself, which is what they had to do. So they want everybody else to do the same. I'm, That's my opinion. I'm kind of agreeing with you halfway. Right. So I do believe that if someone's saying how against the system they are and how against mainstream labels, they are, they would start maybe an independent label where they are helping up and coming artists and learning and doing things of that nature. But I don't think that that's something that's mandatory. I think that nowadays in society, people have a put their hand out. Why you ain't give it to me mindset. So like if I worked hard, right, like currently I work hard and I've built whatever I've built on YouTube, even though I'm not famous or anything, but I've built enough. If someone is new and didn't get to a certain level and they're expecting me to help them, they're like, why, why, why you won't shout me out and get me subscribers? I'm going to look at them like they're fucking nuts. So like when it comes to independent artists, right, I do think that you can just learn and build. And if you do learn it yourself, like you become the guy. Right. That's something that a lot of people, they don't realize. Right. Like if you grow up harder, like or like for instance, say you didn't have a father and you did somehow still end up to achieving all your dreams and goals. It makes you an even stronger person to where people look at you now like you're the leader. So if you didn't have a leader or a mentor, you, if you keep on that route and you build up, you become the leader and mentor. And then it's up to you if you want to give out that knowledge and help people or if you don't. Right. Um, so, yeah, I do agree with you halfway to where it's odd that he didn't start a label to help people. But that's just because he keeps talking about how bad rec labels are in the industry. When it comes to like your case of you being a rapper, I just think that you should stay consistent and put out some stuff. Right. Like if you're asking or saying, how come he hasn't put people or someone bigger hasn't really helped you out? I guarantee if I went to your channel right now or where your music was, it wouldn't be at the level to where it's on some. That's the only thing that's missing. You would probably need to work on other things on your own outside of someone just helping you. Um. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I spent two thousand dollars on all the equipment to be able to do it from home. But, you know, like the laptop and the Twin X. Apollo and everything else, the MIDI keyboards. The thing is, is now I have to go on YouTube and learn how to use all that stuff. I don't want to make beats. I just want to rap. So what I'm trying to get at is if someone is good at actually putting down words and they're making like shit quality because they don't have the right equipment or know how to use it. How long have you had I this would, equipment? If, I mean, I've had the equipment about six months, but my problem is, is on rap fame, there's a bunch of sick ass beats and it's really easy after work to just come home, turn on rap fame, find a really good beat and then just put down your lyrics and then edit it till it sounds as good as possible off of a cell phone. And that's what I do. You just, so you, I would think, you realize you I said real rappers would be like, damn, this guy's pretty good for just being on a cell phone. Man. Imagine if he actually came and hang out with me and I put him on a track where the quality of the sound is good. You just said it was easy. Um, that this kind of indicates that you're easy. looking for the easy route, but well, no, I think I'm that, hold on, I'm I hear what you're saying. Let me get, let me get this off. Um, and then I'll, you know, yeah, lazy, the rest of what you yeah, yeah, it sounds like you're being lazy. But on top of that, it sounds like you're have a, a certain entitlement for other people who got to a certain point to look at you with half ass work and say, he's great with half ass. Let me just uh, go and I help that him. Way, That's crazy. The reason I feel that way is because some people are naturally good at it. You so all right, let's, you know what? Let's nip this in the butt. Link me to your music right now. Let's All find right. out. I mean, link I me to your music of, right now. Covers, you know? Nah, nigga. So. Give me, let's link it right now. Pick me, what's your best thing? Send me your best song and we're going to let the audience judge since you think that you're already at the level to where that's the only thing that's missing is a cosign. Let's hear the music right now. Not the only thing that's missing is a cosign. 
Yeah, That's what it sounds like is, you're describing. What's missing is audio engineering, real microphones. I thought you said you spent $2,000 on it. I have it all. It's all in the boxes. What I'm saying is I don't know how to use that. You've had it for six months. I don't know how to use all that. So you've yeah. had it for and six months and it's just, it's still in the box. So your excuse is no one's doing it for you and you want someone to no, come and do it for you. I'm not trying to make it sound like that. That's what it what is. is. Well, what I'm saying is every time I come home from working an eight hour to 10 hour shift, if I feel like rapping, it has been a lot more convenient for me to go on this, this app on my phone <laughs> called rap fame, which has tons of tons of good beats. And allows you to record your lyrics and then I take it to CapCut and I make it sound as good as possible and I edit video. I don't care about the phone shit. What, what, your phone oh. beats, nigga? And what about the professional shit? The high quality stuff? Are you saying that you're not able to do it because you don't have time because you work a full job? Correct. Okay, so here's the uh, option you could either do, right? Me personally, I would just nut up like a man and just learn the shit and just invest whatever extra time I can so I can be able to do that. Like the average person who does have the job and has the equipment and doesn't have someone to do it for them. Or you could take some of that money that you earning from working so hard and invest in either hiring an engineer or in just go to a studio. It sounds like the equipment was a bad investment for you because if you're gonna just let it sit there and not actually use it, the fuck did you buy equipment for? Just spend it on studio. Just go to the studio where someone presses a button and gets paid so they can record it. And then if you still don't blow up after that, it's on you. Because for me, it sounds like you're making a lot of excuses. Like, I don't know if you know much about me and I'm not trying to like dump on you, but I'm like that. The last person you should say some shit like that to, right? For every goal and dream I've had, I've went and got my equipment the same as you and was working full-time job. When I first started YouTube, I had no subscribers. I had two jobs and still came and did a video a day, which is me recording, my bad, my, my bad researching, then recording, then editing, then posting, then doing the thumbnail. And I had two jobs. Right. I didn't say, man, why can't someone just see me of uh, my poor quality stuff and go, man, that guy's funny. I want to edit videos and do your thumbnails for free. That way things could be easier for me. No, nigga. And guess what? Because I didn't think like that, I got better. Right. It sounds like you're just making a thousand excuses for why you it makes no sense for you to have equipment for six months and you ain't crack that shit out that box and learn how to use it. Nigga, because the moment I got my mic and all my other equipment, I, mean, I, I used it box, within the so first hour. I to download all the all the, the, Do the it. software. It gave you. What's stopping you? You know, what's stopping you from downloading all the software, looking at some YouTube tutorials, and recording your music better quality? What's the stopping? You? I don't want to make beats, and I don't know how to like put someone else's beat that I may pay for, and yeah. then record through a my SMB7 microphone all on a laptop and through an Apollo Twin X just to not know how to put it on a file to not know how to fucking, I don't know how to do none of that. It's literally, you know, it's crazy. If you actually took the effort to learn, that's literally a 10 second thing. You, are you just talking about importing the MP3 file onto the, whatever DAW you're using so you can record? That's so hard. That's what's stopping you. You know, that sound crazy, yeah. right? That sounds nuts. It takes 10 seconds to learn how to do that. If you oh, opened yeah, up the software, yeah. I can tell you how to do that. And so then, I, motherfucker, if you're sitting here admitting to me that you're being lazy, st stop asking for a handout from anybody. You don't. You shouldn't expect nothing from nobody because you're lazy. You don't deserve a that, handout. I no, I respect all that, and I completely agree. My original point was when artists like Ryan Upchurch, Adam Calhoun, and people who do it themselves get to a point where they're able to do it themselves. They always collaborate with other artists that can do it themselves. Why do they expect everybody to learn how to make everything themselves first? If all they really want is the people who can rap good on a song with them. I'm not trying to get famous. I don't give a shit if I ever make money off music. I think it's just fun. Oh, I wanted to be a rapper 20 years ago before all this Brother. was possible. I could take a quarter and throw it down the street and find 10 good rappers. What? I don't give a fuck about if a rapper is like, oh, he could rap this way. Nobody give a fuck about that. It's about more than that, especially with me. I'm about my morals, the things I live for. So if someone's lazy, I don't give a fuck how talented they are. I'm never working with them. What? Okay.
That sounds crazy. Why won't they do stuff for people that won't do stuff for themselves? I don't know. I, well, you should why, just why be. Do they expect, why do they expect someone who has the talent to rap to figure out how to um, get the cop the rights to their own beats? Because you said you want to do it and then blow up for three years before they want to work with them. because That's you said question. you want to do it because okay? you said you want to do it. So do it. If you don't have the tenacity to put enough work in for your own fucking career, why are you expecting anything from anybody? Do it for fun. Do it whenever you want. And then maybe eventually you'll look at those boxes of equipment and go, maybe I should learn how to do this shit myself. And then you'll be in a better position from a creative sense. But expecting people to do that you know what you sound like you sound like one of those chicks that and i'm not disrespecting you but it sounds like one of those chicks that expect every man to do things for them i'm pretty why can't you just but i'm pretty i'm pretty if i thought that's what if i'm pretty then you should buy me things buy me a house pay my rent i'm wrong for expecting that why didn't they just see me and notice how gorgeous i was and pay my rent and take care of me why aren't these rappers take care of me when i can't even take care of myself why it makes no sense and then fresh and fit is looking at you like you crazy like what like i, I don't know sense. that's it, it it sounds insane to me so to answer your question i learn i, I feel I, I agree with everything you said today on the phone call so i'm just trying to learn why and what i should be doing so i mean i'll, I'll i can figure it out on my own I'm i can tell you what you should be smart. doing you should crack open those d damn equipment go on youtube and learn how to use all that don't even think about rapping for the next few weeks master that equipment it really shouldn't take that long but the fact that you didn't know how to do the mp3 thing then yeah that means you never did anything involving software so learn and master that equipment go to the basics look up like a motherfucker that's doing episodes one through however many right invest in that they got people that have the professional classes that you could pay for like 20 dollars, and it's a monthly subscription of you watching them edit or learn how to do shit and j or just on youtube for free go and find somebody that's teaching you whatever question you have there's a nigga on youtube explaining it and master that shit and then record your own music and then do some videos maybe get some video editing software do that shit and then once you do the stuff and then you start seeing oh people are reaching out like imagine me starting youtube and going why has nobody reached out to me i got zero subscribers nobody's watching me why hasn't a bigger content creator looked at me and said hmm you got talent let me just bring you in you know what happens when that usually is the case when a motherfucker brings you in when you literally have nothing usually it's to use you YouTubers have done that for me. Hey, you got talent and no one's watching you. No one will hear your screams. Come in and write all my fucking videos and me not pay you and just take advantage. That's what happens when someone's like, please, what? help me a bigger person. Please, I don't know why you won't accept my laziness. I don't want to do it myself. People will take advantage of you. That's why these artists sign these horrible ass record deals. So a label come to you, oh, you don't know how to record your own music? We'll do it for you sign right here. Meanwhile, you getting paid $5 a year while they getting millions off your shit because you didn't want to learn how to press the record button. That sounds crazy to me. Everything I've learned, I learned myself. How to make videos, how to like, I've learned some editing tips recently, but I've been editing for five years on YouTube on my own, just getting better. Sometimes the shit was trash, sometimes it got better and throughout growth. I don't think with the mentality of why won't someone do it for me even though I know I'm too lazy to do it for myself. That nigga, that shouldn't even be a thought of why won't they do it for you. Let's fix the laziness. All right. Well, you put me into my place, man. You're right. I, you're 100% right. I just, I think if I was in those positions, like if I ever do learn everything and ever do get to that position in five or 10 years, you don't know that. Somebody that could, if I saw somebody that had the talent, you don't know that. Obviously. I already know what you about to say, and I know you don't know that because guess what? Go through the, the years, go right. through a good 10 years of you struggling and busting your ass and learning how to do all these things yourself, and then hear somebody say the same shit you said to me and tell me you're going to help them. All right. That's crazy. That's like imagine that working from the really bottom, good. from the mail room, all the way to the top in a corporation, and then a motherfucker that ain't even there telling me, why won't you just help me and make me a top corporate executive? You like, Motherfucker, you didn't even go to the mail room yet. That that's why. As you were, these motherfuckers in, in at the top looking at you like you didn't even get through the mail room yet. So I'm also why I'm just looking at it wrong. You're right. I'm just looking at it wrong. I just I just assume that because I can rap 
maybe somebody would want to feature unknown artists on their music, not to make them famous, but to have more than just themselves on a song. And you you got to think I more guess, service, bro. Part. Yeah, you you're skip that part. People don't realize, like, when you're in the music industry, this is like a, a customer service type of job, damn there, right? You shouldn't think of, how can I get, how can I get, how can I, it's just, how can I put out? If you really want to work with artists, what can you do for this artist? Like, how is it beneficial to, th that's how you got to think, right? Like, if you really want to collab with these big artists, and then the first step would be just stepping your game up. You should want them to contact you after you build all these things up, right? Because then you're in a better position. But yeah, nah, I, I like it's a, it's two different types of mentalities that people have, right? Is the people that's out here asking and begging for reparations because they just want free payments for shit that they wasn't even allowed for, or the people that go out there and get a job and work. Nigga, could you imagine somebody, man? If I walked up to you and said, "Why don't you just give me three hundred dollars?" You would look at me like I was on crack, and I'm like, "But you work hard and you you have a job, but you see me lower. Why won't you just?" Help me. Give me $300. Uh, that, that's a good, a good way to uh, interpret it. So I see what I'm doing now. All right. I'll just put in the work. I, I just figured since I'm willing to have balls and say anything about anything, you know, someone like Tom McDonald would be like, all right, let's get this guy with the okay skills on here to talk shit about America too and all the problems since most rappers won't. No nah, so, man. Okay. I'm not gonna try to take shortcuts or expect anybody to call me. I'll just keep working until I get it figured out. Exactly, man. And shoot, anytime you want to pull up to the chat and ask me for an opinion, because that's why I, I knew I was gonna call your bluff. Like, let me hear the song right now, and I know it's not ready to be heard. So it's like, man, just all you gotta do is just put in the work. I believe if you really I mean, do actually, it, you can do the it. The songs that I have put out um are actually pretty decent for being off of a phone. I know it's I mean, decent. My ears, aren't, my ears aren't deaf. I know good music, and I like my music. Itself, I'll put so. you on the spot right now. I asked you twenty minutes ago to send me this song. Where's the song? I'm on the phone. I don't know if I can multitask, bro. But I'm. Gonna right, when you get old, when it, yes, me. send it to uh, me. Um, are you on my Discord or Instagram? No, I'm on your YouTube only. Oh damn! All right, if you're on Instagram, do you have an Instagram? Yes. All right, so you should be follow me if you can. Uh, send it to me through Instagram. Send it to me through Instagram, and I'll, I'll take a listen right now. We'll close I'll, the show I'll with that, actually. Instagram and, I'll go over to Instagram and follow you and send you a link to my YouTube page, and then go back to watching your live. All right. Appreciate you, man. Later. Thanks for the call. No problem. Any advice. Anytime. But yeah, guys, see, I'm glad that we did that call, because that was something that's an important lesson. I believe that more people need to hear, fam. Like, everything that I've ever did was, like, I learned on my own. Right, whether it was music or fucking uh, me doing video editing. And, and mind you, I had motherfuckers around me that had these set of skills. Motherfucker, when I um, lived, it was years ago, my first apartment, man, my roommate, his like, one of his best friends that was at my house, in my house, eating from my fridge every day, was a video editor. And this motherfucker refused to teach me shit. Yo, man, come on. This fan. So eventually I was like, fuck it, got the software practice with it a little bit and just learned like right and then eventually nigga, i'm better than this nigga in video editing and my stuff has gotten more attention so it's like you just got to just put in the work man that's all you just got to put in the work right like i can't sit here and play why won't anyone shout me out for the youtube man i want to be a youtuber why won't people shout me out man and it's like nigga, when I, i'm first coming in and there were people that said, oh, you're funny, but you don't have a following. They used me to write their scripts for their videos. I never got paid for it. And then whenever the time came when they could cancel me or try to destroy me and move me out the way, they did. You should never think with the handout mentality, bro. Build your shit. And then that way you'll be unstoppable. And then if you feel once you've gone through the mud and all that shit to build your own shit, if you feel like, OK, now I want to just help somebody that doesn't deserve it. Then nigga, do, do what you got to do. Um, but me personally, I just don't think it's a you know wise decision. Because motherfuckers that do that, they don't know how it feels to have to earn it. So because they don't have to earn it, there's certain things that, that could happen, right? The way it's like, because they feel like they owe the first chance or so the time that they don't get what they feel like they're owed. There's a lot of these beefs on YouTube, beefs in the music industry. 
right? Just a lot of ungrateful behavior, right? Like, look at the game when he beefed with uh, 50 Cent. Ungrateful behavior. I'm talking, most of the people 50 Cent beefed with that he used to be cool with was ungrateful behavior with a lot of these people, right? Um, but yeah, that's the thing. It's like, why would you go out and do... I mean, if I took... If it took me 10 years... Matter of fact, more than that. If I was to take my journey, and I don't even think of myself as a success nowhere near yet, but if I just looked at my journey... 10 years, 15 years plus, right? And I'm including my music journey as well as my YouTube. Somebody asking me to make their career easier and help them skip 15 years is insane. I also preach for people to learn those lessons. You should want to go out and learn those lessons because it's going to make you stronger. It's going to make you stronger. I'm a damn near copyright expert at this point or the strikes I ain't had. <laughs> but now... I'm selective with who I choose to help. There's no winning. I remember 2001 when I had it. She was my passion, but something happened. I was young and that's ass. That's ass. That's ass, bro. That's and I'm not even just saying this because you just up church. That's ass. You deserve to be on a, on a record with Tom McDonald or up church, nigga. You drunk out your fucking mind. Getting someone to edit your shit is the least of your worries, my nigga. You need to work on your craft, brother. This is lazy as hell. This is lazy. This is nowhere near prepared for like anything, nigga. Like, this is ass, bro. This is genuinely ass, my nigga. Like, what was you doing? What was on your biscuit, bro? Like, nigga, I ain't gonna tell you to quit, but nigga, this should have never been heard. And this is recent, nigga. You made this a month ago. You, you suck, nigga. Let's, let me listen to something else. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe it was the song. Maybe it was the song. Let's pick something that got. Okay. I don't want to play this whack ass. <laughs> I don't want to play a diss song because I don't want to be biased. I want to hear something that's like actually you, but. It, Nigga, this shit, it better be better than the last one. He talking about some how many views he got, nigga. It's probably because you doing shit like this. Yeah, yeah, and no one probably gives a fuck. Um, but let's, you know what, let's hear it. Fuck it. Let's hear the, the song that you bragged about all the views. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Motherfuckers, what's their gap size? They feel the sea flow the wild, then they capsize. Everyone rolling in your lane, someone new in the race. Hey, you're the last guy in last place on my dead ass. What's your gap size? You make noise. Everyone tired of this motherfucker gotta be trolling. Hey man, thank you for the support. You ass. Um, appreciate the support. Yo, that shit was that was doo doo. That was doo doo caca. That was like that was bad, my nigga. Like. That was hard, but you trolled the fuck out of me, right? You not a serious artist at all. I know. I deserve to be on the same track with nigga. No, nigga. Nigga. I got a little cousin that's four years old who smoke you on a record right now, nigga. And she would do nothing but just jokes about your hairline. I swear. I don't know how she learned that. I don't know. I don't know who told her hairline jokes. But she's surgical with them motherfuckers. Like, yeah, with your trash song and your hairline. Smoke. Um, but yeah, no, nah, that was not good. Of course it was good, yeah. I'm not playing that whole song, my nigga. You out your fucking mind. You out your mind. N nigga, no amount of time is gonna make that better. I'm sorry, and I hate to sell it. You cannot get me to listen to the rest of that for free, sir. If you would like a donation request, donate a small amount of whatever, nothing too crazy, and I'll listen to that whole song right now. I'm not listening to that whole fucking song off the strength of what. This nigga, I knew you was delusional. I said that shit. I said, yo, fam, there's no way. I said that. I was like, yo, there's no way. I bet you if I listen to it, nigga, your last motherfucking problem is someone shouting you out. I said that shit. That was your lab, nigga. Yo, no, nah, my nigga, nah, nah. That was that was bad, nigga. All right, that's enough. We're done. I don't want to just keep shitting on you.
We're done. We're done. Hopefully you take the advice and actually work on your craft instead of asking for a fucking handout. This nigga. Nigga here, you need ghostwriters, you need an engineer, you need everything, nigga. You not good at nothing. Like, that don't sound like someone that, oh, I just need a better mic. I just, no, nigga, that mic can't save you, nigga. What's wrong with people? That's a lot of these musicians. Y'all think, oh, man, it's just the quality. No, you niggas is not good. Not good. And feel free to judge my music. I could play something for you guys right now. Right? Why did 92 people like it? I don't know, nor do I care. But if that's all your value is, then you don't need no one, right? Then go out there, famous man. You so famous and, you know, and doing it big, then go. Go out there, do you. 93 people, whoo.